He claims he found a coffin containing a skeleton of the girl born Princess Elizabeth. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 conspiracies about historical figures. Over time, even the King family would begin to doubt Ray's guilt. Flames spread from neighborhood to neighborhood, devouring everything in sight. Ethel's cryptological research has led him to believe that the works of William Shakespeare were actually produced by this man. For this list, we'll be going over the conspiracy theories, using a loose definition of the term, mysteries and legends about notable people from throughout history. If there's a notable theory about a notable person notably absent from our list, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Assassination Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis. Murdered in Memphis, Tennessee, civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s death has long been the subject of many conspiracy theories. His alleged assassin, James Earl Ray, recanted his confession soon after his conviction. Dexter asks Ray if he killed his father. James Earl Ray responds with a simple, no. In addition, evidence of illegal surveillance of King by government agencies, including the FBI and the local police department, have led many to conclude that King may have been killed for political reasons. A number of people were concerned that the FBI or somebody connected to the FBI had a hand in Dr. King's death. The jury of a 1999 civil suit concluded as much, though a lack of evidence made definitive proof elusive. Other potential culprits include Southern white supremacy groups. Whoever was responsible, it's heartening to know that while they may have killed the man, his message lives on. Larger than life one moment, a martyr the next. Number 9. Nikola Tesla's Death Ray A genius inventor ahead of his time in many ways, Nikola Tesla developed many ideas that would pave the way for the 20th and 21st centuries. However, one of his most elusive inventions was for a particle beam weapon, which the press called a death ray. Tesla claimed it would draw power from the ionosphere and had a range of 200 miles. Tesla theorized this weapon of his could take out military aircraft 250 miles away. However, the device remained mysterious and unseen. Upon his death in 1943, many of Tesla's papers and research were taken by the federal government leading some to suggest that the U.S. or various European governments may have gotten their hands on the plans for this weapon. Many of the journals and documents stolen the night of his death are never found. If someone does have such a powerful weapon, why it hasn't seen widespread use in the years since is anyone's guess. History still surrounds the lab at Wardenclyffe. Number 8. John Dillinger's Supposed Death a notorious gangster in the early 20th century, John Dillinger was decreed as public enemy number one in the USA. However, some contend that he was not killed by the FBI outside a theater, as has been claimed. But a federal agent beat him to the draw and sent a bullet crashing through his skull to emerge beneath the right eye. According to autopsy reports, Dillinger's corpse differed from his appearance in several ways. Granted, the gangster had received plastic surgery to conceal his identity, but still, it suggested that Dillinger may have faked his death or else the FBI attempted to cover up their murder of an innocent man. Dillinger's eyes were blue-gray. The dead man had brown eyes. Some people have claimed to have met Dillinger after his death. Dillinger's relatives even sought to have his body exhumed to confirm his identity. Still, they were denied, which means the conspiracy remains just a theory. We just want some closure and, and, and find the truth. Number 7. Queen Elizabeth's Gender Queen Elizabeth I of England was highly regarded both in her own time and in hindsight as an excellent ruler. The conspiracy theory that she was actually replaced by a man at some point in her life is indicative of how ingrained gender roles were in Elizabethan society. That even the queen herself could not be seen as powerful without some questioning it. Even so, there are still some interesting aspects to this strange theory. May not have been a woman at all, but a man. One story suggests that the real Elizabeth died while at a village called Bisley and that she was replaced with a young boy to avoid the ire of King Henry VIII. They'll substitute a local child for the dead princess. Her reputation as the Virgin Queen, her use of wigs, and her habit of wearing tall ruffs are cited as evidence of this wild theory. Although it's unlikely, given how much Elizabeth was in the public eye, Bram Stoker, author of Dracula, apparently believed it. The popular and well-regarded author devotes an entire chapter to the Bisley story. Number 6. Lewis Carroll and Jack the Ripper 
Jack the Ripper is one of history's most famous serial killers, in part because his identity has never been proven. The Ripper murders, as they would be known by the world for the next 120 years, had begun. With so many candidates for the Ripper, it's hardly surprising that one of them ended up being famous. Still, Lewis Carroll, author of books like Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, is an odd choice, although he admittedly is no stranger to controversy. He was dry, a methodical, a punctilious. Richard Wallace pointed to supposed evidence that Carroll was abused as a suggestion that he had had a psychotic break and became a killer. He also pointed to anagrams in some of Carroll's writings as confessions to the Ripper crimes. Wallace's own words have been turned into an anagram confessing similarly serious crimes, so the evidence is pretty flimsy. We have various bits of evidence which can be twisted and turned and shaped in different ways. But ultimately, it comes down to this, what do we think was going on inside his head. Number 5. Emperor Nero's Burning of Rome In July of 64 AD, two-thirds of Rome was destroyed in the Great Fire of Rome. The city is an inferno. While popularly believed to be caused by arson, the culprit is a matter of some debate. Some historians, many of whom are the only sources for information on the fire, blame Nero, Rome's emperor at the time. Motives have ranged from wanting to put up new palaces to just wanting to watch it all burn while he sang and danced. Legend says that as Rome burned, Nero sat on his balcony, singing the fall of Troy, with the city suffering as his backdrop. Regardless of whether Nero was the culprit, he laid the blame on the Christians in the city, leading to their persecution. Were they a convenient scapegoat for his own crime, or were they implicated due to existing prejudices? Short of a time machine, we may never know. Nero proudly boasts to his friends that at last he can live like a man. Number 4. William Shakespeare's Identity William Shakespeare wrote some of the most well-known plays and poetry in history, or did he? We know perfectly well that Shakespeare wrote Shakespeare. We have the unimpugnable historical evidence. The playwright's success has led to a lot of scrutiny, and some believe that Shakespeare may have been a front or pseudonym for another writer entirely. Proponents point to the bard's middle-class background being inconsistent with his highly literate and witty plays, his name's inconsistent spelling, a lack of documentary evidence, and his decidedly mundane will. There are monuments that hail his achievements. And we have comments from people who knew him as a writer. Candidates for the Bard's true identity include as many as 80 different candidates, with the most popular being Sir Francis Bacon, Edward de Vere, and fellow playwright Christopher Marlowe. We're not sure if this theory is to be or not to be, but we'd sure like this question settled. Why would Shakespeare have allowed himself to be used as a front for these people, if, especially if he was capable, apparently, of writing most of the plays by himself. Number 3. JFK's Assassination One of the most famous incidents of the last 100 years, President John F. Kennedy's public assassination in Dallas, Texas in 1963 has launched countless theories of a conspiracy. Even though a plaque on this very building still encourages us to doubt, and doubt they do. Lee Harvey Oswald was the prime suspect, but his subsequent murder, along with the belief that a second shooter may have been present, has led many to conclude that there is more to the event than initially appears. Suspected players have ranged from the Soviet Union to the CIA to organized crime. There are lots of theories. It was Castro, the Mafia, the Soviets, the CIA, you name it. No matter who it was on that grassy knoll, conspiracy theorists and pop culture in general have had a field day putting their own spin on the president's death. There are other still photographs taken from other locations in Dealey Plaza which show the whole man standing under an open black umbrella. Number 2. Amelia Earhart's True Fate in 1937, Amelia Earhart and her co-pilot Fred Noonan attempted to circumnavigate the world, but disappeared after departing New Guinea. Fred, I don't see Howard Island. I don't know where it is. We should be right on top of it. It's not on my side. Earhart's disappearance has long fascinated the public consciousness. While the most commonly believed answer is that her plane went down over the Pacific, plenty of people believe there's more to the story. Some suggest that she landed on an island which she was unable to escape from. Others believe that she was taken prisoner by the Japanese. The Japanese soldiers brought the spies into town. Most strange of all are the beliefs that she was a spy or assumed another identity. Still, without proof, we'll never know where or even if Earhart came down. 
she remains a true hero, as inspiring in failure as she might have been had she succeeded. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Abraham Lincoln's Assassination John Wilkes Booth, a famous stage actor and Confederate sympathizer, assassinated President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theater in 1865. Although Booth is known to have acted with other conspirators to try to kill other top members of the government the same night, there are those who believe a larger scheme was at work. In the years since Lincoln's death, conspiracy theorists have pointed to everyone from the Confederates to members of Lincoln's own government to a cabal of international bankers. Booth's murder of President Abraham Lincoln is only part of the story. While there are plenty who likely wanted the president dead, whether they acted with Booth is a matter of speculation at this point. It was essentially to accomplish what the Confederacy had failed to accomplish on the battlefield. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.